Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our pine trees. This is a freebie that we released alongside our Bavarian Village SVG bundle, and it's gonna come in handy, um, well, because many of you have made uh, many of our structures. Um, if you recall, last year we released a beautiful little church, and uh, these little 3D pine trees will be a great addition to whatever display you may have. So basically, um, well, it's made up of four pieces like this, and I've already pre-folded everything, as you can see. We do include a solid scoreline version of all of our files um, from the last three years or so. Uh, so you'll find that there. You cut out four of these, um, and technically, if you're savvy enough and you know how to use the contour tool, uh, well, actually, one of the files is separated so you can make this as large as you want as large as a 12 by 12 mat will allow you to make it uh, so that is an option and we're just doing two one small one large uh, i already did that one obviously and one thing that i did instead of inking was um, i grabbed some white acrylic paint and we're going to add a little snow effect on it because it really just kind of makes it pop a lot more uh, but anyway as far as the assembly goes it's pretty straightforward uh, when I folded this, I folded it so that the smooth side of my AC cardstock was on the outside when you have it folded. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to connect them like this, and we want that texture to be seen. So make sure you fold correctly. And the easiest way I found to do this was to kind of sandwich two of them together and uh, do the same thing with the other two, and then connect all four of them together. I thought it was the easiest way of doing it. So now with this... Uh, because I'm going to end up painting this with some white paint, if I get a little extra glue that shoots out on these tips here, I'm not overly concerned about it because it's all going to be hidden. And we do want to make sure that we get everything lined up. If it helps, you can actually just use your table to help you with the initial placement. Just kind of keep your eyes on all of the tips of the branches on one of the sides here. And just make sure everything's making good contact. And even if it's off a little bit, don't worry about it so much. Because again, uh, we're going to be able to get our acrylic paint out and we can touch up the tips of these and no one's even going to notice. This should be kind of fun to do and quick. And you can add whatever touches you want to your tree. Uh, I was actually thinking about once I painted it to maybe sprinkle this with a little bit of glitter which you can do. Uh, I know a lot of you do heat, uh, heat embossing, uh, which is really cool too. I could see that being done on something like this. Okay, so there we have one or two of these sandwiched together. And then we'll do the same thing with the other two, and then we'll just join it all together. And we're gonna paint some trees today. I'll just kind of show you what I did. It just made the most sense. I was just thinking about a pine tree in nature after a little bit of snow. You always typically have, you know, um, just on the tips of the tree, they're all nice and covered with that beautiful snow, especially the day after it first snows. That is when it's the most majestic, I'd say. That is a good day to get that camera out and take some beautiful photos. I've had a couple of days like that last year and just didn't have the time to get out and shoot. I guess it's also helpful if you have something worth shooting. I spent many a days wandering forests looking for that right shot and um, helps to do a little pre-planning to know exactly what you're going to shoot. Anyway, all right, so we've got two of these together now. Now I'm just going to put glue on one half of this. And I notice up here that it's not completely together. Totally optional. I don't even think anyone's going to notice, but since this is going on the website and everyone's gonna be looking at it, I wanna make sure it's nice and perfect. So I've got a scrap piece of paper here and I'm just gonna kind of just put some of that glue in there, just spread it in between the two layers and then just press and hold right up at the tip and let that set, okay? And I think I probably put a little bit too much glue in there. So it's taken a little bit longer, but it'll be fine. Okay, there we go. And now I'm just gonna cover the entirety of one half of this. And as you can see here, I'm trying to work around these little branch tips here so that 
everything looks nice and seamless once we get it all together. I've got to kind of act quick here because this glue is going to start to dry. There we go. Let's get a little in the center and then grab our other half. And you can literally just kind of pop it on your table like this, match up a few of those branches, maybe at the top. That's where I'm looking. And then just work on getting the rest of it lined up. I think this was a little bit easier with the smaller version of this. So be wary that when you use the large one, it might be a little more difficult, but that actually turned out really nice. And I'm gonna make sure that I get all of these little sections connected here. And just like we did earlier, if you find that you've got a few little branch tips that are not sitting, not sitting pretty, and you want to kind of touch it up again, just grab that scrap piece of paper, tuck it in between the two layers and then just press and that, that should do it. Just like that. I'm not overly concerned about it. So you're only going to see it from one direction anyway. So once you have your tree together, uh, again, you can ink it if you want. Uh, that would actually be really cool, but I'm going to actually just paint it with a little bit of acrylic paint. Okay. And what I did with this one here is I literally just took my paintbrush and I didn't try to cake it too much and literally just kind of just dabbed, dab the tips of it. And it's okay if you go down and add a little more in certain areas or come in a little more, it's fine. But ultimately just a quick little dab, I'm trying to get it on all the little tips starting from pretty much here uh, in the center of the tree. You can go ahead and do that and I'm sure it'll look great. So it's funny, actually, I bought some Bob Ross art supplies and I told myself that I'm going to start painting. This was years and years ago and just never really, never really took the time to continue painting because I just got too busy with the dreaming tree and all this other fun stuff, but that's okay. Still get to kind of do art, but you get the point here and you can really experiment with the different types of brushes that have different types of textures. Um, you can bring it in a little bit further if you want. It's up to you. Now this side got a lot more snow, but you get the idea here. And I think that not only is this quick and easy, it doesn't require you to have to go pick out papers or anything crazy like that. You're just picking out a nice green. You can make it a lighter green, darker green, doesn't matter. And assembly takes no more than a few moments. And then you get to have fun adding these little details onto the tree, which is always fun. I guarantee I'll probably see people putting little ornaments on these and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, sometimes you want to craft, you just don't have the time to do something big, but you want to get in there and just take a deep breath and relax a little bit. This is fun. Okay, so you get the idea and that's really it. So I'm going to finish this up and I have my Bavarian village that I'm going to put this up against and take some photos and get this thing out for you guys. But anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please take a moment and visit our YouTube page, hit that subscribe button while you're there and also hit that bell. So you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And, uh, if you make this or anything from our new Bavarian village SVG bundle, I would love to see it. And so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for dreaming tree group or you can just type in this little URL that you see here at the bottom of the screen. So anyway, hope you guys have fun with this one and I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.